You know, when we showed you video of ice in the Ohio River this week, it got a lot of people talking about the great freeze of January 1977. Take a look at our skyline 37 years ago. No Humana Building, Aegon Tower, or 4th Street Live. Tonight and Friday flashbacks, WHAS TV's aerial footage from that winter shows you the frozen city 10 days straight below zero. Now here's the famous picture taken by the famed Courier Journal photographer Billy Davis as he was flying over the frozen river in downtown Louisville there in January 1977. And from Cincinnati right down to Louisville, people took to the ice and they walked across the hard packed Ohio. WHAS TV's Jim West at the time was documenting the, tr documenting the trouble in January of 77. This is the view from HAS. WHAS Crusade for Children. Burning in the bait. Here's my forecast. Chuck Olmsted, Action 11 News. For most of the day and into the night yesterday, six towboats worked to cut a channel through the ice at Carsville in western Kentucky. Around 100 fuel carrying tows have been stalled there for weeks, waiting to bring their cargo upriver. They got through the ice, but the water is too shallow. The Corps had put down the wicket gates at dams 50 and 51 because of the ice hazard. Today, however, the decision was reached to put the dams back up despite the risks. There is a potential danger to the dam if we get ice moving. We may have to lower them back down even before we get them all the way up. And the men that will be doing this are involved in a very hazardous operation. I mean, there is nothing, you know, mechanical or hydraulic about it. They actually have to get out there in a maneuver boat right over it uh, using grappling hooks, winches, and lines and get this dam up. If and when the water comes up, the fuel barges will be given the first priority. Jim West, News 11 Action Cam Report. <laughs> Amazing people wow. could walk across it back then. <laughs>